Hello once again, this is XIM Axel, and we are continuing our series of Metroid Fusion. Let's get to it. Samus, we've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4, the aquatic, or that's what it, the blue hatches are now activating, the extra slipping in. What are we going to do? Multiple irregularities in the system. I'll brief you in the navigation there as soon as you arrive, is your objective clear? Let's do this! <laughs> Uh, just to clear something up, if uh, you didn't notice it before. Um, oh, never mind. The SAX, the enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have reason? Probably not, since it's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on the SAX. It is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns the poten its potential and threatens the entire universe. I'm a good. This is terrible. You can help yourself. Alright, so we're moving on to Sector 4. Uh, back in Sector... Sector... 3, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what we were in. Anyway, back in Sector 3, we, um... The... the one of, um... Xenofire mentioned that, uh... I didn't talk about the, uh... Larva creatures turning into, uh, fossils. And... Hold on to that. The sector has been t has taken more damage than expected. I knew the extra repairs were indestructible, but still, this is too purposeful. What? Yeah. A uh, high degree of intelligence. The X are fascinating, especially this SAX. But I, but I digress. Haha. -ha. <laughs> he used it. Researchers call servers. I think it said the ultra high speed moving attacking thing it has been causing lots of trouble. No doubt the SAX released it while we were gone. Yes, I, Sirius is often in this area, in the nature area. I don't really know. I'm just kind of skipping in. Terminate it if you can. If you don't, it may invade other sectors. Electrify water is uh, our current problem, our current obstacle we can't get through. We'll be electrocuted, so we have to find some sort of way to uh, bring down the water so it's not <clears throat> attached to the electricity. So, um, going back to what uh, Zeno said. Now, the... The, they didn't turn into fossils. They, all I, I, I don't want to mess any, spoil anything, in a way. But I will say that they are larva-like creatures, and they didn't turn into fossils. And if you look at the very end of the last episode, you can actually see the larva creature, only not as fossilized, if that makes sense. So on that note, whoops. On that note, um, I want to talk about something else about this game. Uh, something I just noticed in general that uh, I really enjoy how like the story is always something's always happening. We get to the navigation room and something else went wrong. But it's not just like, oh my god, now this thing's wrong. It's like, well, it it kind of is, but it's like it's not like. It's not like um, these things are just kind of like randomly happening. After every, every consequence, every th every action you do has a consequence, and I find that to be really, in fact, great because it's like it's not a like this entire time that we're doing this, we're trying to we're we're playing catch up. We're trying to contain things as they happen because not only is this um, S this um, X enemy fairly new to us from a um, re like a research standpoint but it's it's constantly evolving to the point where we can't keep up with it and uh, we're just trying to figure out how to stop it in general because it all started with one capsule and it's turned into this mess as you recall from the beginning anyway so that's why like this entire area didn't used to be flooded it it slowly uh, it slowly like became flooded while we were like maybe in sector two or something like that. So like it really gives you this feeling that like of maybe urgency in a way, even though it's obviously a scripted story. And the faster you go, it won't change anything. It still gives you that feeling that you need to hurry up. You need to. Uh, I messed up big time, didn't I? Did I? No, I just. Dumb. I'm dumb. It gives you that feeling of urgency 
that if you don't hurry up and contain this problem, then it's going to threaten the universe, as Samus uh, clearly said before. Not just because of these X creatures, like, we don't... As far as we're concerned, they can't survive outside of the, uh... Well, they probably can. I don't know. They... they we're, we're more concerned with the SAX right now. Not only because of the sphere of it killing or harming us in some sort of way, but we're afraid that it will, as a as we feel responsible, as Samus feels responsible for it, that, uh, and here we are at the chamber where, oh my god, uh, Sirius or Cerberus or <laughs> whatever the creature's name was is now dead, which is confusing because we typically have, oh, I forgot to kick like that, we typically have an objective that goes like straight to the thing, but beforehand we didn't see a boss at all, so, but now we do. Like this is, like I said before, this is a typical boss signal of some kind. So uh, I, I'll go back and get that health actually, but uh, right now I actually have this fight to have. Now the only thing we know about this creature right now is that he it moves extremely fast. <laughs> So normally, like, you would have to get attacked by it a couple times before you figure out its weak spot, and, like, even afterward, like, like, I could probably, if I really, like, played this game, like, a lot, lot more, like, recently, I'd be able to, like, figure out its patterns and stuff like that. You can, like, stay from, if you start on the bottom, you can actually see, um, where it comes in and comes out. I'm trying to, uh, find a spot where it actually shows it. That I could have hit in there. I'm too busy trying to hit it. Yeah, see? That would be like the not slow way to do it, but definitely the uh, the most logical and probably safest. I'm just kind of getting hit now. But um, we found out its head is the weak spot, which is which is good because now we have an area to aim. But uh, we can just sit up here and hope that our reaction time will let us. Kill it. <laughs> now, it, most of the enemies thus far have um, fallen pretty quickly to just our regular abilities, so we assume it's pretty much almost dead. But, uh, like all ex parasite like creatures, it has this hardened yoke of a form that we have to uh, fight. And uh, if you're wondering why I used, I only used uh, charge beam during that entire fight, it goes back to the conversation I had where uh, the, I don't, I think it was maybe, I, you know, I don't remember what episode it was, but it was definitely the, um, the episode where we got the charge beam, it, where I talked about how the the game will, the game takes priority over which weapon is better at a certain time in a way. So we're in for like what circumstances. So we couldn't just we couldn't attack that creature all the time. Like by no stretch of the imagination. Because uh, it would go into this kind of invincible form that we couldn't take care of. So with that we um had we used the most damaging ability that we had at our, uh, our disposal that, at that time. I'm gonna try going this way this time. Get me some health, hopefully. And, um... So just, like, small things like that, noticing that which does more damage at what cost, it helped us in that fight a lot. And it actually probably saved us some time and health mainly because I wasn't paying attention. Because <laughs> commentating, man, commentating is hard. It really is. Right. So now we have this energy tank, which would have been lovely to, f to have during uh, the previous fight. So um, I haven't gone over what our, our new ability does. Our new ability is really cool, actually, and it, it helps, oh, once again, it helps, like uh, most of our abilities, it helps open up a lot of the sector. To uh, to exploration and awesomeness.
That is a nice feature use of the uh, charger. And um, anyway, I completely forgot to uh, <laughs> to mention. <laughs> nice space. Sorry. But um, so anyway. Here's a good example to use it. We start running, and after a certain amount of time, we actually go into this kind of invincible sort of speed state that allows us to uh, get through those looking blocks to your right. And um, it it can it can pretty much destroys all creature all normal type uh, monsters that we go through. I feel like I'm talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> and um, but as you can see, we can't use it down there because we are uh, limited by the water. So because of that, we have to find a different way out of this place. We gotta get out of this place. I'm sorry if my uh, commentary seems kind of lacking this time. It's uh, I have actually I have a final. 25 minutes, I think, and I am just so tired, and that that's another thing, if you hit down when you're, um, you're running, you can, um, kind of hold that charge that we built up, and it will allow us to, um, direct it in a non-linear path, well, a linear path, but, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> In a linear path, but for, but in a non-forward directing path. I'm sorry, but uh, sorry, I'm waste. <laughs> I'm kind of wasting some time here. I want to show off the uh, thing, but um, anyway, so we continue onward. And so, but yeah, I've I have a final in a little, and my brain is kind of like numb right now, and I just want to. I wanted to relax with some some commentating because it's been something I've been really wanting to do for quite a while now again because uh, I haven't had the time my roommate keeps popping in but um on that note I uh, have a nice day actually I will see you again later <laughs>